Hey chickies, okay today we are doing a Geo Gradient Mani. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. Polishes that I'm using for this one, firstly is OPI's Alpine Snow for the white base for the gradient. Then I'm doing a coat of Sesh Feet over the top of that white base. And then the colours themselves are from China Glazer's Light Bright, uh, Light Brights collection. The first is the pink one, which is I'll pink to that. Then we've got the orange, None of Your Risky Business, and the yellow, which is called Whip It Good. <laughs> that sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> and of course, I'll be using a latex-free sponge, which I have pre-dampened. And I will be using a latex product to protect the skin around my nails whilst doing the gradient. This of course is called Simply Peel from Bliss Kiss. If you don't have a liquid latex product like this or you are allergic to latex, there are other options you can use. Things like tape, I used to use washi tape. Uh, you can also use glue, I've seen people use Elmer's glue, it does work. It's a little bit messier, it takes longer to dry but it does actually work. Uh, or you could just spend at least half an hour on each nail cleaning up the mess that you make with a gradient. And that's what we all used to do. It really was. I'm so glad that I don't have to do that anymore. Before we get into the actual nail art, I wanted to show you the creaminess of these China Glaze creams. Now, I mean, let's face it, China Glaze is not known for making the creamiest of cream cream creams, really. Most of them uh, tend to need at least three to four coats to become opaque on the nail, but these are actually a lot thicker. Not so that you wouldn't be able to use them, but they are really good quality, so I'm really impressed by them. I, I have to say that. Well, like, I don't have to, but that is my opinion of these particular creams. I'm very impressed with them. So for the gradient for this one, I'm doing a circular gradient and these, coincidentally, these colours I have done in a circular gradient before, like almost three years ago when I did Pink the Truth About Love Tour Nails. That was a long time ago. But basically, you're going to start with your darker colour on the outside, then, you know, or well, yeah, pink on the outside, orange, and then yellow right in the very centre. Now, I haven't done it before, but I think I'm going to very shortly. I, I, I really think if you reverse the colours, it'll be really pretty as well, having the lighter colour on the outside and the darkest colour in the middle. I'm going to have to give that a go. Okay, we'll stay tuned for that. <laughs> Definitely going to do that. Maybe with some different colours, but oh, yeah, that'll look really cool. Anyway, so uh, what are we doing? Gradients. The gradient is basically the same as every other gradient and you're just going to keep doing it until you like the strength of colour that you've got. So um, you might do it three or four times or you might do it seven times. It just depends. One on the polishes and two what your preference is for the strength of colour you're after. Now, I think I mention this every time I do a gradient but please whatever it is that you're using to protect the skin around your nails take it off straight away. Do not wait for the polish to dry. You want it to be gone 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 and then you can do the teensiest bit of cleanup and next we're going to add a coat of sesh feet or you know your favorite top coat of course that one is mine i'm uh, doing that because we're going to be doing some stamping over this and i want to have a lovely smooth surface to stamp over but also adding a top coat as soon as you finish doing your gradient or finish the cleanup of your gradient it actually helps to smooth out and make that gradient look really deliciously yum you know like something you eat but you know obviously I don't recommend that and next we're going to do the same gradient on the middle nail uh, and just just repeating that on all of the nails that you want the gradient on I you know shock horror did it on all four of my nails if I was painting my thumb I probably would have just painted it straight pink or yellow or orange or one of the colors from the gradient I wouldn't have done the gradient on the thumb I don't think or black you never know you could literally do anything with your thumb <laughs> hmm, it's wide open I don't paint my thumb like you know I do paint my thumb but usually I use it as a tester like to test something out test out a stamp or step test out some sort of technique or whatever so it's never really in relation to the many that I'm doing right now that's why I never really show it because there's really no point No 
with the stamping I'm going to add another layer of Simply Peel um, the liquid latex on the skin around my nails because I don't want to have to clean up the stamping polish and by the way I'm using black Mundo Yunus stamping polish. The stamping plate that I'm using is Moyu London's Illusion Plate number 5. It was sent to me by Picture Polish. Now also I have a little disclaimer for you. Um, I am using the, uh, I don't know, what do you call it, the stamping head holder from, I don't even know, oh, the clear jelly stamper people, but I'm using the squishy stamper thing from Picture Polish only because I really needed to be able to see right through and even though I did fix my Picture Polish uh, clear jelly stamper um, so you could see through it, under the, I just thought if I use this one because I can literally see straight through it, there's nothing in my way to see uh, that that would make my stamping skills better. Turns out not so much, but anyway, that's hardly the point. It was just an experiment. It didn't work. <laughs> So you can probably see the remnants of the stamping polish around my nail in this shot here. Uh, and you can even see a little bit of a shadow of the stamp. I just couldn't get it. Like I, there was this little corner piece on this particular stamp that I really wanted to have on my nail and it just wouldn't go on. It, And it was completely me. And it has nothing to do with the stamper and whether or not I can see right through it, it just means I can't do this. I just can't get it done. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, see, look, that, that bit at the top left-hand corner of my nail, that was supposed to be in my nail because that's what gives you the illusion part of this stamp. And then there you see, because I went back and forth with the stamper, you can see those gap lines that run right down the side of my nail. And that's what prompted the ultimate fix, which you will see very shortly, which I didn't, wasn't incredibly happy with in the end anyway. I don't even know why I'm showing you any of this because it's, it's terrible. Oh well. It's not terrible. I love the gradient. I wish I had just left it as the gradient because I loved the gradient. And when you know it, the only nail I could get that little sort of tiny little pattern on was the far right corner of my pinky is pointless because you can hardly see it like yeah but at least I did it so that's something and maybe next time if I ever ever use this stamp again I will be able to get it right on the first go you never know stranger things have happened So it's time for the acrylic craft paint to come to the rescue, um, just to try and rescue this mani and make it look, you know, somewhat like I meant for it to happen. So I decided to come in with the black acrylic craft paint and a large dotting tool and put sort of dots in places where I wanted to hide stuff mostly. <laughs> And I think on my middle nail I put way too many dots and it just ended up looking kind of crappy. But, you know, I was determined to keep going with it, so I did. So I did these dots on every single nail, you know, sort of randomly placed on the lines and some not so random because I was trying to hide stuff. And then I put my sesh feet over the top and then I slept on it. And then I woke up the next morning and then I did this other thing, which I'll show you in a minute. So here we go, the next morning, and you can see there's no shrinkage, fabulous, no shrinkage. Uh, I'm going to be using some white acrylic craft paint and my fine detail brush from Fabio Nails. I'm going to use the small end of that double-ended brush I showed you um, the other day. And we're going to put little highlights of white acrylic craft paint on those dots. And hopefully, and the plan is for them to, or that to create more of a three-dimensional effect. Now. I know fully well that what I should have done in the beginning was do white dots first and then do once they were dry do black dots slightly off center and that would have given a, a much sort of cleaner crisp view rather than me trying to shakily paint these stupid little white lines and as you can see these white lines are only sort of around half of the circles and sort of in random order but you know I think you can get the gist or the general gist of what I was trying to go with. And I, I actually kind of liked it in the end, but you know, especially not on the middle nail. Oh, that's this one here, I think. Yeah, I just put way too many dots on there. No, it was the middle nail. Yeah. 
Maybe I put too many dots on all of the nails. Oh well, doesn't matter. That's I think that's my new catchphrase. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, so once that was all completely dry, it's time for the final top coat of Set Beat as per usual. <laughs> and that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. This is obviously the shot without the white highlights, and then there's the shot with the highlights, and then there's the shot of the glow in there because it glows under my black light. So I had to take a shot of that, but that was before I woke up the next day and put the white over the top. So, oh gosh. Anyway. I really like the glow in the dark, oh, it's not glow in the dark, it's not glow in the dark, it's glow under my black light. So if you're going to a rave, perfect nails for a rave. But if you're trying to see your way through a dark hall, I wouldn't uh, try and count on these nails to light your way because they literally won't. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye chickies. I want to thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye. All thumbs down. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Anyway. <laughs> Bye.